Lightweight is more and more important. And if you want to reduce uh, carbon dioxide emissions, you have to reduce the weight of the car. So for that, we are using more and more polymeric solutions. Since the 80s, Renault has started to use more and more plastic in the fenders, in the hood, and right now we are using some polymeric material for the tailgates, and we are thinking about using more and more thermoset or thermoplastic material for the chassis and also for the powertrains. My name is Gérard Liraud and I work as the expert leader for polymers for the Renault Group. So I've been studying tribology a long time ago, either in France or in Sweden, in order to become a French engineer and a French doctor. Then I started my professional life for Renault almost 25 years ago. I took the lead of a department six years ago uh, dealing with polymer activities and then I became uh, the expert leader for polymer activities at Renault three years ago. So the role of an expert leader is to define the strategy. And the strategy dealing with polymer activities is quite simple to understand. It is based on four pillars. We want to use some polymer materials in our cars in order to improve the customer value. We want also to use some polymer materials in our car in order to improve the durability. However, if we are using these kind of material, we have to reduce the cost, which is the third pillar, and we have to reduce the environmental footprint of our car, which is the fourth pillar. Customer added value is the so-called wow effect. You see the things, you touch the things, you say wow, and you want to buy it, you want to get it. So in order to have this kind of feeling in our cars, we are studying the wow effect of the polymeric material, touch, sight, ear. So we do study all the decorations that are possible to put in our car for exterior or interior parts. When you do buy a car, it costs a lot. So you want to have a car that will last for a very long time. So we do want to use some polymer materials in order to increase the durability. And for that, we have focused on three fields. Scratch, clean ability, and UV protection. For me, it is clear that we will use in the future more and more polymeric materials in our cars with two different approaches. The Kaizen one, we will increase the level and the amount of polymeric materials in our car, in the skins, it could be in the doors, it could be in the lift gate, it could be in the chassis. So we will swap from metal to polymeric solution. However, we have to think about the breakthrough approach. And breakthrough approach is quite clear. We have to find some new material that will change the life of our customers. Cost is something important. And the cost of a car is mainly coming from the cost of the raw materials. So in order to be able to find locally all the different materials that we need in order to produce the car, with Nissan, our partner, we have defined a clear strategy involving the technical specifications of the material and that will allow us to make some bundling effects locally. Everybody is now focused on the environment, which is good. And uh, we have to decrease the environmental footprint of our cars. For the polymeric materials, it's quite clear that we do have to work on recycling materials. We have also to think about the bio-based materials. And at last but not the least, we have to decrease the light wave of our cars. So for that, we are developing more and more polymeric solutions in order to swap from metal to polymers. So Renault created the lift gate 40 years ago. And from that time up to now, we have used some metallic solutions. Six years ago, we had decided to work on the lift gate. So at that time, we decided to work with a raw material supplier, with an university, also with the people involved in the process and in the product. So we created a research project called Thermoplastic Lift Gate. After a couple of years, the people became more and more confident in the solution. So we decided to implement this new lift gate in our car. And the first car that has been launched with a thermoplastic PP is the new Espace. With the new Espace, we are using some thermoplastic polypropylene. And we have been able to reduce this weight by more than 15%. The technical properties of the polypropylene are becoming more and more interesting. If you are speaking about the rigidity, if you are speaking about the density, the creep behavior, 
the behavior of the scratch UV, the polypropylene is now a very, very interesting material. And at the end of the project, it was like something obvious. Polypropylene is technically and economically the best solution for this kind of application. 12 and 22 are two numbers that are very important for me because my two boys were born the 12 and my little daughter was born 22. Now, if we are speaking about a number which is important for me, professionally speaking, is 22 also. Because right now, 22 is a percentage of polymeric materials that we are using in our cars. So I hope that in a couple of years, 22 will be a poor number and that we will end up to 25 or 26.